the number system. Okay. So in computer science, we basically have four types of number system. First one, this is called as binary numbers. Binary numbers basically have base two. Okay, that means you are having two symbols, zero and one. The second type of number system is octal number. Octal numbers has base eight. That means we are having total eight symbols that goes from zero to seven, and that is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. After octal, we have decimal number systems, and in decimal number, we have base ten. And total ten different symbols that goes from zero to nine. Okay, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And further, hexadecimal numbers. Okay, hexadecimal numbers has base sixteen, and they have numbers and characters associated with with that. Okay, and in numbers we use zero to nine. and after that we use characters like a b c d e f okay these character actually represents uh, the number 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 all right so since this is hexadecimal number and the base of hexadecimal number is 16 that means we are going to have 16 different symbols so in number we use 0 to 9 and after that we cannot use numbers that why that's why we use uh, characters and that is a b c d e and f okay and the subsequent representation of these characters in the numeric format is a is represented as 10 b is represented as 11 exactly like c is 12 d is 13 e is 14 and f is 50 okay the important point that we are going to discuss is the conversion of these numbers okay conversion from binary to decimal or from decimal to binary okay conversion from octal to decimal or from decimal to octal okay decimal to hexadecimal or hexadecimal to decimal okay so this is we are going to learn next okay so let us see uh we'll start first with the binary and decimal conversion so let us go to see the first conversion that is binary to decimal let's take a binary number and that is uh okay instead of binary let us understand first how to convert from decimal to binary Okay, we'll cut this part. So we'll actually start from decimal to binary. Okay, so let us start with a very simple number, and that is ten. Let's say if we have ten as a decimal number, and we want to convert this into binary, how do we do this? Okay, so. one very simple technique to do this is to divide the number by the base of binary number okay so we are going to divide this 10 by the base of binary and that is 2 we'll divide the number and we'll write down uh the remainder here okay so when we divide 2 uh, so when we divide 10 by 2 we get 5 with the remainder 0 Now let us again divide this five by two, and that is two two is a four with the remainder one. Okay, two ones are two with the remainder zero. Okay, so the ten as a decimal number as binary of one zero one zero. Okay, how we are writing it? We are writing from bottom to top. Okay, we are writing from bottom to top. Okay, let us see another example. uh let's say we are going to convert 25 that is a decimal number and we want to convert that into binary so how, how we'll do that we'll again do that do this 
with the same technique and by that is by dividing by 2 ok so we will divide 25 by 2 so that is uh, 12 times with the remainder 1 we will again divide 12 by 2 and that is 6 times with remainder 0 we will again divide 6 by 2 that is in 3 times with remainder 0 we will divide this 3 it goes 1 time with remainder 1 ok and we will again arrange the remainders in bottom to top approach ok so double one double zero one double one double zero one this is the binary of uh, 25 all right so i hope you are clear how to convert any decimal number into binary let us now understand uh, how to convert any binary into decimal okay so let's move let us now move to the next point and that is number system okay number system this is again an important point in our exam so we are going to talk about four different types of numbers here and they are uh, first binary numbers second one this is called as octal numbers third one this is called as decimal numbers and finally fourth one this is called hexadecimal numbers all right so these are four different types of numbers that we'll be talking about and uh, here what we are going to talk about we are going to talk about their conversion from one number system to another all right so basically what we'll be focusing upon is conversion from decimal number to any other number system like from decimal to binary or from binary to decimal okay we'll be talking about from decimal to octal or from octal to decimal or uh, from decimal to hexadecimal or hexadecimal to decimal this is this will cover okay so uh, let us understand the basics first so binary number system has base 2 and base 2 means we are having two numbers here and they are 0 and 1 okay octal number has base 8 that means we are having 8 numbers here that is 0 to 7 okay decimal number has base 10 that means numbers are from two, 0 to 9 and hexadecimal is base 16 okay that means total number will be 16 and they vary from 0 to 15 okay but wait we only have numbers as 0 to 9 and after that instead of using 10 11 12 we use characters like a b c d e and f okay so these are different characters that we use instead of 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 all right okay so let us now uh, first see how do we convert from decimal number to binary number okay so the first conversion is decimal to binary decimal to binary let us see how to do that the very first example that i'll be taking is uh, a small number like 36 okay we want to convert this 36 from decimal to binary okay so in order to do that what are the steps that that needs to be done so in order to convert from decimal to binary we need to divide the decimal number from the base of binary that is 2 okay so uh, we'll be dividing 36 by 2 and uh, we'll be writing and arranging the remainder okay so we'll do it like this 36 will be divided by 2 so in how many times this 36 will go in 18 times okay in 18 times this 36 will get divided with the remainder of 0 okay now we have got this 18 again we have to divide this 18 by 2 again okay so we'll do this repeatedly until the entire number get like uh, get divided okay so uh, we'll divide 18 by 2 and that goes in 9 time with remainder 0 again we'll divide this 9 goes in 4 times with the remainder 1 okay 
then we will divide 4 that goes in 2 times with remainder 0 and again 2 ones are 2 with remainder 0 we will arrange these remainders from bottom to top okay in this direction okay so we will write 1 0 0 1 0 0 okay so the so 36 when converted into binary becomes 1 double 0 1 double 0 okay so this is the binary of 36 so this is how we are going to convert from decimal to binary this is the very simple thing okay so let us do our practice based on uh, on some other numbers also let us do that let us now convert any other number uh, I'll be taking 51 so 51 is a decimal number and we actually want to divide this we actually want to convert this 51 uh, in binary so again how we're going to do that we're going to actually divide this 51 by 2 okay so let us do that again 51 divided by 2 it will go in 25 times with remainder 1 okay then we'll again divide this 25 by 2 this this will go in 12 times with again remainder 1 12 will go in 6 times with remainder 0 6 will go in 3 times with remainder 0 and 3 will go in 1 time with remainder 1 right and now we will again consider this remainder from bottom to top ok so we will arrange this like this double 1 double 0 double 1 so this is the binary value of 51 so i hope you are clear how to convert from a decimal number into binary number okay now let us see how to convert a binary number into decimal number okay so the second type of conversion we'll be saying is binary to decimal binary to decimal please pardon my handwriting so let's take a very simple example binary to decimal uh, we are going to take a number like 11101 okay this is a binary number and we want to convert this into decimal how we are going to do this okay so there are certain steps that we need to follow first of all we will write this entire binary code into this way 1 0 1 1 okay we will start from this side and uh, we will write something like we will we'll write the column okay starting from 2 to the power 0 so this is 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 and 2 to the power 4 okay we will write from 2 to the power 0 up to the column we are having values okay so 2 to the power 0 is nothing but 1 2 to the power 1 is nothing but 2 power 2 is 4 power 3 is 8 and power 4 is 16 now, what next next we are going to multiply them okay so we are going to multiply this 16 with this one 8 with this one 4 with this one 2 with this 0 and 1 with this one okay so this is going to be 16 times 1 and then we'll add them also okay plus 8 times 1 plus 4 times 1 plus 2 times 0 plus 1 times 1 okay so what this will give this will give 16 plus 8 that is 24 plus 4 that is 28 plus 0 again 28 plus 1 that is 29 so the right answer for this question is 29 so we had triple 1 0 1 okay as a, a decimal number and the equivalent uh, sorry as a binary number and the equivalent decimal for this is 29 base 10. so i hope you are clear how to convert binary into decimal okay let us now understand the same with some other example okay so uh, let's have a number like one double zero one zero one one okay this is a number a binary number that we actually want to convert into decimal okay into base 10 so how we can do that see a very simple process to do that 
even simpler than the last one actually uh, the step is again the same but the process is a uh, little simple than that so what we'll do we'll actually memorize these points okay we'll actually memorize these columns okay and the columns are 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 oh, sorry let me let me raise this 2 power 3 then 2 power 4 2 power 5 2 power 6 and so on okay we'll write these columns and uh, we'll again write the value of these columns and that is 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 and so on okay how long okay we'll write this by counting the number of digits in our binary value okay and how many uh, what number of digits do we have in our bi binary value so we have total seven digits okay one two three four five six seven okay so we'll arrange it in this way uh, from this side okay so that will go here one one zero one zero zero one okay and then again what we'll do we'll again do the same thing we'll multiply these numbers with each other and then add them okay so 64 ones are 64 32 times 0 is 0 so we don't we don't need to write that 16 times 0 is 0 so we again don't need to write that 8 times 1 is 8 okay 4 times 0 is 0 no need to write that 2 times 1 is 2 and 1 times 1 is 1 okay so we'll we'll add these numbers okay so 64 plus 8 that is 72 plus 2 is 74 plus 1 is equals to 75 so the right answer for this question is 75 okay so i hope you're clear how to convert any binary number into decimal and any decimal number into binary okay let us now move and let's see how to convert any decimal number into octal number okay okay so let's now convert from decimal to octal how to do that let's say we have a number for 47 okay this is a decimal number and you want to convert this into octal okay so what we'll do we'll again do the same same thing that we did uh, for the binary we in binary we divided from the base of binary that is 2 uh, in octal we'll divide from the base of octal that is 8 okay so this 47 is going to be divided by 8 okay so uh, in how many times this is going to be divided 8 fives are 40 okay in 5 times it will get divided with leaving remainder 0 now this 5 is less than 8 so it won't go any further okay so we'll stop it here and we'll write the remainder from top to bottom sorry from bottom to top okay so the right answer for this question is 57 to the power 8 okay so the right answer for this question is 57 so 47 in decimal is equal to 57 in octal okay try with another number uh, let's take 58 okay 58 as decimal and we want to convert this into octal okay so what we'll do we'll again take this 58 and we'll divide it by 8 okay 8 7 are 56 and remainder is 2 okay and again 7 is less than 8 so we it, it go it can't go any further okay so we'll write it from bottom to top and this becomes 72 okay so 58 in decimal is equals to 72 of octal please note that 8 and 9 digits cannot be the octal values okay so whenever we are converting from decimal to octal the octal value will never include 8 and 9 digits okay because they never uh, existed in octal okay so this is how we convert decimal to octal now let us convert octal to decimal so now the new conversion is from octal to decimal okay octal to decimal how to convert that again the process is same just like we did in binary so let's understand by taking an example let's say uh, 24 is an octal number and we want to convert this 24 into decimal 
So what we'll do, we'll again arrange this 24 into columns 2 and 4. We will start from this side. We'll go 8 to the power 0 and then 8 to the power 1. 8 to the power 0 is 1 and 8 to the power 1 is 8. Okay, then what we'll do, we'll multiply these numbers and then, then add them. Okay, so 8 to the 16 plus 4 ones are 4. Okay, 16 plus 4, 20. So 24 as an octal number is 20 as decimal. This is the right answer. Okay, let's understand with another another question. Uh, let's take next question uh, is um, let's see uh, 63. 63. It is an octal number, and we want to convert this into decimal. So how we're going to do that? So we'll write 6 and 3 on the columns. We'll write 8 to the power 0 here and 8 to the power 1. 8 to the power 0 is eventually 1 and 8 to the power 1 is eventually 8. Then we'll multiply this 3 and 1 and 6 and 8. Okay, 8 6 are 48. Then we'll add 3 1 the 3. That is equals to 51. Okay, so 63 as an octal equals to 51 as decimal. Okay, let's understand with another example. Uh, let's take 1 0 6 okay this is an octal number and we want to convert this into decimal please note 108 could not be the right question okay because 8 and 9 does not comes into octal please mind that okay so 106 how we are going to do that we'll write 1 and 0 and 6 and 8 to the 8 to the power 0 is 1 8 to the power 1 is 8 8 to the power 2 is 64 okay then what next we are going to multiply them okay i did the shortcut okay i did the shortcut i hope you you understood what i did here okay and then we are going to multiply them okay so 64 times 1 is equals to 64 plus 8 times 0 is equals to 0 plus 6 times 1 is equals to 6 okay we'll add that and that is good that will add up to 70 sorry 70 okay so the right answer for this question is 70 clear Okay, so this is how we convert octal into decimal. Now let us see how to convert from decimal to hexadecimal and then back hexadecimal to decimal. Decimal to hexa. Since hexadecimal has base of 16, so what we are going to do here, we are going to divide the number by 16 here. Okay, so let's take an example. Let's Let's talk about uh, let's say 64 is a decimal number and we want to convert 64 into hexadecimal. So what we are going to do, we are going to divide this 64 from 16. Okay, so 64 goes 4 times with the remainder 0. Okay, and then this 16 is uh, greater than 4 so we cannot divide it any further. So we will write it from bottom to top and we will write 4 0 40. Okay. So 64 as a decimal is equals to 40 as a hexadecimal. Okay, take another example. Let's take 152. <coughs> okay, so 152 is going to be converted into hexadecimal. What to do? 152 will be written here. We'll divide it by 16. Okay. So in how many times we can divide it? So we are going to divide 152 from 16. It will go in 9 times. Okay. And uh, in 9 times, 148, 148 will uh, will go from this and we'll have 4 only left. Okay. Now this 16 is greater than 9. That means we cannot divide it any further. Okay. So the right answer for this question is 94. Okay. You got the idea what I'm I, I'm trying to make you understand all right this is how we convert any decimal number to hexadecimal number and again the opposite of this is from hexadecimal to decimal from hexadecimal to decimal now how to do this hexadecimal to decimal again the process is same okay process from conversion from any number to any any other number like from hexadecimal to decimal is done exactly the same way like binary to decimal okay the difference here is only the base 
Okay, let us let let us see an example. Uh, let's say we want to convert this A2. A2 is a hexadecimal number, and we want to convert this A2 into decimal. Okay, so how to do that? We'll arrange A2 in columns A and then two. And since we cannot uh, do any calculation on this character, so we'll replace it with its place value, and that is ten. Okay, A equals to ten. So we'll replace it with its place value. Uh, and then we'll do what? We'll uh, put the value of columns. Okay, so we'll start from this side. So 16 to the power zero will be here, and 16 to the power one will be here. Okay, 16 to the power zero eventually goes to one, and 16 to the power one eventually becomes 16. Okay, then what next we do? We actually multiply them and then add them up. Okay, so two ones are two, and 16 tens are 160. Okay, and then we'll add them up. It will become 162. So a two Is actually 162 in decimal. Okay. Let us take another example. B29 as a hexadecimal value. We want to convert this into decimal. So what to do? We'll write B, then two, and then nine. B won't help us in any calculation. So we'll put the place value of B. B is actually written as eleven, so we'll put eleven here. We'll start from this side, sixteen to the power zero, and sixteen to the power one, and sixteen to the power two. That is one sixteen and two fifty six. All right. So nine ones are nine, sixteen twos are thirty two, and two fifty six eleven times. Okay. So two fifty six eleven times is equals to So two fifty six times eleven is equals to two eight one six. Okay, two eight one six, and then we'll add them. Okay, this will get added. So two eight one six plus thirty two plus nine that is seven. Okay, that is five and eight. Two two eight five nine. So the right answer for this question is two eight five nine. Okay. So I hope you are clear with this. How to convert hexadecimal to decimal or decimal to hexadecimal? Okay. So I hope you are clear with the concept of number system. Uh, that's all for this video. And this video has become very large. So we'll discuss the MCQs in some other video. Okay. And do tell me if you face any sort of problem. in this particular section i'll make a fresh video okay we need to uh, raise a request for this particular video if if you face any uh, any problem i'll make a fresh video under uh, making you understand everything okay so that's all for this video thank you for joining in please stay tuned to the olive board please stay safe and thank you so much